Hey there, welcome to On Stuff with Jeff. I figured I'd start my first video uh, talking about, uh, you know, my heavy metal collection. So let's, uh, let's start with uh, right at the beginning. Well, not at the beginning of my collecting, but, uh, you know, A, C, comes before L. So uh, this is um, Blind Rage from Accept. Came out uh, Nuclear Blast from 2014. They're a German band from a place called Solingham in uh, in Germany, obviously, if they're a German band. Uh, I actually picked this this one up because it was recommended by uh, 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 on a Canadian metal review website called The Metal Voice. Thanks, Jimmy K. Uh, I, uh, when I first listened to it, I wasn't, you know, really, you know, uh, that impressed. I knew, you know, it was, it was good. I, uh, you know, I listened a few times to put it down, but uh, just recently I decided to pick it up again and uh, found that, uh, you know, sometimes when, yeah, sometimes certain types of, type of albums, you know, you have to be kind of in the right headspace, you know, in the mood or, you know, whatever to, to really enjoy it. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a good, powerful um, you know, uh, Mark Tornillo's uh, vocals are really still very strong on this album. Uh, you know, uh, being part indigenous, Trail of Tears, I like that quite quite a lot. You know, um, so uh, you know, there's kind of what the inside of it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Um, okay, so that was a good one. Uh, next up is uh, you know a lot of you will probably recognize these guys. Allison Change, you know, uh, one of the one of the heavy one of the bigger uh, grunge bands that come out of uh, the U.S. Uh, Allison Change is from Seattle, and Dirt came out in 1992 on Columbia. Uh, like, uh, like, I really like that design. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. This is a great album. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people. You know, uh, looking back, people who who never really were around, I suppose, uh, when grunge was was it, and are uh, real, and are actually real uh, metal fans. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Them Bones, you know, uh, Stick, Sick Man, uh, Rooster, you know, it was a lot of really good, um, uh, you know, uh, personal problems songs. Uh, I, I actually really quite enjoyed this one. Um, this... This one was one of the one of the. This was probably the second doom metal album that I picked up. Uh, you know, My Dying Bride. A lot of people like My Dying Bride. So do I. Um, uh, Anathema, the Silent Enigma. This one is uh, really sad. <laughs> uh, this is um, kind of uh, this is their what their second album I think. Yeah, their second full length. Uh, came out in 95 on Peaceville. Uh, they're from Liverpool originally, or still, I suppose. Oh, well, this kind of broke, but there you go. There's a, you know, doesn't, you know, the whatever. Uh, but uh, it's the inside that counts, I suppose, you know, with these things. Uh, you know, uh, it was you know, gothy, goth rock doom. Um, I actually really like this. Uh, you know, uh, Restless Oblivion. You know, uh, just really, really good stuff if you like that. <laughs> and I do sometimes. It hits a spot. Uh, this one here. Uh, these these guys are a fantastic band. Uh, Atheist, uh, good technical, uh, jazzy uh, death metal. Uh, this came out on in 91 from Active Records. Active Records, unfortunately, went defunct in uh, 94. Uh, this one, this edition I have was rel was relapsed, was uh, re remastered and re-released in 2005 by Relapse. Uh, there's, uh, it has a whole bunch of bonus tracks on it. Um, you know, uh, really solid, uh, like the, the, you know, lots of changes and just got that. Uh, I mean, if you like, if you like the, when Getty Lee from Rush really goes at it. On, on his bass, it's got a lot of like that, you know, all that stuff and stuff. And I, I, I really like this album. Let's see, is there much to look at? I don't know. I know the inside, the, that little bit of band art always kind of reminded me of uh, the band art from um, from um, Somewhere in Time, Iron Maiden. I mean, without the 
really silly looking futuristic go-karts or whatever they were. Uh, the other one is, you know, I really, I love this album so much, but I still haven't gotten around to buying the hard copy of it. Uh, this is the, uh, the eternal classic Anvil's Metal on Metal, their second album. Um, Anvil's from Toronto. Uh, they, um, they actually won an award, not, not for the music, uh, but uh, they won an award for the album cover for art direction or something like that. Uh, but uh, I really, you know, I love this album, the, the, the title track. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's fast. It's, you know, a lot of Canadian music from the 80s kind of had a, uh, I don't know, a wild, you know, maybe rough around the edges feel to them in comparison to comparative bands from, or, or, or acts from, uh, from Europe or the United States. Um, you know, Mothra, it remains one of my famous, one of, one of my favorite, favorite uh, metal songs. I mean, come on, you know, heavy metal is either really serious or it's incredibly pretentious. And like they did a song about Mothra taking over the world. I mean, that's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so um, I, if this is the type of thing you like, uh, you know, uh, give the video a like, subscribe, share, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, interact with me, leave a message, whatever. You know, uh, I, I love heavy metal music, among other things, but uh, this particular video is about heavy metal. So uh, give me a message, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Okay, thanks. Have a good night.